Uh, okay, the next section. Hmm. Hmm. I come well. Doesn't it excite you? The Timon Negru has revived. The Great One, <laughs> who once ruled this earth as the medium between the human world and the demon world. Isn't it a magnificent view? The greatest minds of their time, those who revered evil, constructed this glorious edifice. Now, after two millenniums of confinement, it can at last fulfill the purpose for which it was intended. That's none of my concern. <laughs> Virgil does not give a solitary shit. Of course. <laughs> He's taking good care of it. After all, it is the only memento left from the mother you both lost. But he has no idea of its true power. Hey, it's that chick. I see chick. I, this monster. Did he kill her already? I'm going to style on you to prove I'm stronger again. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, this is the first time. I've just seen this cutscene a few times. Recording. Dead. Look how much stronger Virgil is, guys. It's literally the point of that, is to say, look. Look. It's Lady. I found it. I'm gonna get them with my motorbike. Oh no. It's burning me. I like the concept between... Uh, I like the concept of the design of Lady's motorbike, but unfortunately the way it's rendered in this game, considering the engine of the time and like the graphics capability, seems a little spiky. <laughs> you know, like they couldn't get all the details they wanted. It feels like there was like... It could it could look much cooler nowadays if they re-rendered it now. Lady should have a motorbike. Everyone in this game should have a motorbike. So these characters, enemies, projectile douches. Ah, uh, I just took a load of hits because I'm an idiot. Okay, it's between sessions. I haven't played this since the first time I picked it up and now I'm just eating shit. Ah. <laughs> So, yeah, wait, I'm going to have to get my eye in. I'm probably going to die in the first encounter where, because I'm like, oh, oh, I'm just blowing my ass up. They introduce, like, a ranged enemy character with no introduction cutscene, and you're like, every enemy has an introduction cutscene. These guys just showed up. Oh, hey. We don't matter, we're just annoying. Oh, I'm gonna die because I fucking suck at the game. Yeah, I'm dead, that's great. Continue. Oh. I'm trying to remember the controls. Slum Avenue, are you fucking kidding me? Hey guys, we're gonna, the uh, city planners say we're gonna name this avenue Slum Avenue. Oh, that bodes well for this neighborhood. Ah, it's, it's gonna be the new fashionable district. Everyone will want to live on fucking Slum Avenue. <laughs> I thought that was called the bullshit bar then. <laughs> it was bullseye bar. Stab him. Oh, it's this guy. The targeting system is a bit finicky. 
in the sense that the one thing you want to shoot with your gun that's very hard to get the lock on because it's cycling through all of the guys that are trying to stab you. You're like, just quickly shoot this guy. So I did way better this time. Still having trouble though. Yeah. Oh. Oh fuck, that I was... See? It's like, please just let me... There, there you go. This saves me so much time, man. And I don't like dealing with the walking bomb thing whilst I'm trying to, like, style. <laughs> base weapons at the moment. Mm -hmm. Seriously, that's the first green orb I ever picked up. God, they're pretty stingy with the green orbs in this. Oh, you motherfucker. Just take the stupid bits. Ah, uh, I keep forgetting I can't block or anything. I have to keep getting out of the way and uh, I just keep forgetting to roll out the way or anything. Hey guy, there's a door here. I'm like, yeah, there is. Wheel. Cooler gun. <laughs> Yay. I say, hey, just break stuff, and I'm like, okay. Break stuff like it's a Limp Biscuit video. Oh, I just want to shoot the bottles. Hey, last time I tried this, I shot the bottles. Fine, I'll do it this way. Yeah. Checking, I got everything. There's nothing else I can break for lols. Ah, oh, there. Get a tiny orb. Give me the gun. <laughs> New gun. Now I have a shotgun. You always get the shotgun first, don't you? After the. You start with ebony and ivory, and then they always give you the shotgun after. In five, they just give it to you. I want to do the thing. Let me do the thing. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I know. Let me do the thing. Fine, I'll shoot your chair. Oh. Now they have purple skin. Oh, and can teleport. All right. <laughs> Just mess around. I have to admit, having this being the th the very first time I've ever played this game, I'm a little like, they don't have much in the way of combos and options to start with, do they? You just have the sword and the gun, it's got two combos and some specials and whatnot. Yeah, I did it. Hey everyone, I spam on the pole. Are you happy? Are you happy? Yeah, shot him out of the teleporting doors. Uh. Can't style switch. Gotta get to the Maybe I can style switch from the pause menu, I don't know. Ow. Got it in my head. Someone told me once, yeah, you can't style switch in uh, DMC 3. So you just got to stick with one style for each area, and then you can, like, during the customize menu, change it. And the game at the beginning told me, no, if you go into the pause menu, you can switch your style on the fly, kinda. But it's like, it kind of 
fucks up the pacing and shit, but like you can still do it if you Come on, wimp. if you really pick the wrong thing. But like, yeah, break that chair. Uh, but yeah, it's still like really, it's unbreakable. In my head, it's forever stuck now as the incorrect information. Forever, I'm gonna say no. Got to do the whole thing in Trickster. Got to do the whole thing in Royal Guard, whatever I pick. And I cannot change. And if I try to change, it's wrong. So, uh, thanks for that, Mind Goblin. Haha, <laughs> 13th Avenue. Get it? Because it's unlucky. Because the church ruined paganism. Haha, <laughs> get it? Stupid church. <laughs> Really, the barrels don't break? I can jump up there. I'm not up here. Gotta hit the thing. Yeah, it's like the thing in Devil May Cry 5. I see Devil May Cry 3 has been ripping off Devil May Cry 5. <laughs> yeah, I had to say a stupid comment. Uh, give me the... I want the thing. Ow. Oh, that's helpful, but I, I won the thing. I leave the red orbs behind, don't I? Oh, there's this up here. Oh, are these like the adjudicators statues? You have to hit a certain like style ranking before they break. Last level. And now I get another blue shard. Okay. I never realized these uh, divinity statues were here from the very beginning. Now oh, I pressed the wrong button. Fuck. So I'm like, oh, maybe I should try that. Maybe I should try Gunslinger. I kind of know what I'm doing next, and I know it's going to be a pain in the ass, so... Sorry, this is just agonizing you. Right. I need to learn new moves. I already got Stinger, right? Hey, guys. I learnt drive. I will never fucking use drive. <laughs> like, seriously, I don't know what's wrong with me. In every Devil May Cry game, I learn drive. I forget drive exists, and then I go halfway through Bloody Palace after I've beaten the game. Hey, drive! <laughs> like, every fucking time, I swear to God. So most of the super moves as well in Devil May Cry 5 where they're really sick and you can do some really neat stuff. The Dance Macabre, even, or like any of the really advanced Devil Trigger specials that Nero learns or anything. I never use them until Bloody Palace and I forget they even exist because I'm stupid. And to prove I'm stupid, I'm gonna fuck up this boss battle like an ungodly amount of time while I'm like, how do you do basic combat? Hey, it's like that King Cerberus. <laughs> Seriously, playing these the wrong way around just really makes you go, holy shit, Devil May Cry 5 took a lot of inspiration from D DMC 3. Wow, I've never seen a talking mud before. You know, in a dog show, you definitely take first place. Pretty sure he says basically the same thing in five. He froze my door. Easy, Fido. How about I take you for a walk? Come on. He literally does this action in five again to King Cerberus, where he's like, come on, boy, let's go for a walk. 
Nice to know your material never changed over like 30 odd years of living. How old is Dante in DMC5? Hey, he's got that thing that I like. Spinny jump. Gotta hit, gotta hit the thing. Gotta knock the ice off. Okay, so that's what Gunslinger does, okay. I've been a huge Gunslinger fan, but I started messing with it in 5 and was like, Oh, no, there's some shit. It's just that I'm too ignorant to know how to do anything, so... And I started to work it into stuff. Some basic style switching and shit. Uh. So yeah, for a bit I'm like, okay, how do I... Oh, he has the gun. Gun chuck. Nunchuck gun chuck. That's good to know. Might be useful. It did not work the way I wanted it to, but it's fine. <laughs> Oh no. I keep doing that easily avoidable attack. That I'm too stupid to take advantage of. I keep seeing his feet. Ah, oh, the headbutt. Okay. Okay, you're gonna do that. That head does the stamp. Or oh, wait, do they all do the stamp? The oh, ice stamp. Oh, he's frozen over again. This is actually a very different fight from the King Cerberus fight in uh, 5. And, you know, you can't really compare the two. But it's similar in the sense that you've got to, like, hit the heads. And I keep hitting their feet. And they're both dogs, that's about it. Seeing it trying to work out down this thing, like, this is actually better. Oh shit. Terrified to take damage. trying to do stuff, but it's like, it's, it's not exactly the way I want it to go, but it's, it's working. <laughs> it's working. It's slow, but it's like, I'm taking it like a Dark Souls boss almost, just really slowly, very defensive, and then I walk into a raw hit like that because I'm fucking stupid. Oh shit. Oh, I don't have my trick. Take damage though. Frozen again. Really blows the screen. That gun effect. Uh, oh. Oh. More luck than anything that uh, didn't hit me in review. I feel like I'm doing hardly any damage to this guy. What, what am I not doing here? Is it just that I'm not going in and just capitalizing on like. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by this because I'm stupid. There we go. Uh, well, if you stay in the air too long, it doesn't hit you. God, this is slow. I want it to be over real quick. So that's, I just don't think that's going to happen the way I'm playing right now. Ah, shit. Ah, oh, shit. How did that not hit? Oh, fuck. Oh, lucky there. Ah. Oh. Dead. Prepare for that to happen a bunch because, uh... Yeah, <laughs> it takes me a while to work out this guy's thing because it wasn't exactly clear to me because it's 
not really what's done in modern games anymore, but yeah, eventually I start to work out, yeah, just like punch him in the face a bunch and don't really break all the ice for him because that means he gets free of the chains faster, maybe? Question mark. And, um, yeah, it just basically took me a while to work out. Uh, maybe don't just sit there punching his feet because it's doing, like, no damage, if at all. And here you can see me doing exactly the same thing that I just said I shouldn't be doing because it's, it's still a learning stage. And yeah, he tries to lunge at you even while the chains are still in and he's not red, so... It does some damage his feet, but yeah, I should be punching their faces because you can just really capitalize on the damage here. Except I'm too stupid, so... <laughs> hey, first time, no guides, never really watched this game be played fully or understand what's going on, so... Give me some kind of, like, leeway here. Oh, somehow got out of the way then. Back to trick style, by the way, because I thought, oh, you know, I'm going to need to dash around a lot for this guy because he does big slow down moves and I'm too stupid. So my problem in a lot of these games is the big, dumb, slow characters, I dash out the way of the big, dumb, slow attack, get impatient, duck back in the way, and get hit by the big, dumb, slow up attack because I was like, no, they're taking too long and I need to hit them again. Dash in, dash out, and I've like dashed straight back into like a raw hive damage attack that I'm too stupid, you know, <laughs> like too impatient to just wait for it to go by, you know? Like uh, Goliath in. Uh, is it Goliath? Goliath, yeah, in uh, DMC5. I repeatedly move back into punching range when he's still punching because I'm like, I want to hit him with my cool moves. I'm too lazy. Yeah, I literally just sat uh, I can do it, I can do it. I'm learning to jump shit. Ow. Ow, he's doing the thing. He's doing the lunge. Oh, that headbutt though, that's that's like his fastest move and I repeatedly just take it roll to the face from the speed. I imagine this is agonizing for people who actually play the game and have played the game since it came out and know exactly how to deal with this boss. And I'm just like, hey, you know, I should play this game. No experience or knowledge of what the fuck I'm doing. Ah, headbutted to death. Need to learn. Oh, fuck you. Okay, I died three times the session on dumb shit, so fair enough. Uh, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. It's just going to be a long session because I'm stupid and I'm still a baby. I had to take a big drink of beer there. <laughs> Maybe drinking beer is not a good idea when I'm playing these games. I think it makes me, like, honestly even stupider at this, so. Really? He never does that. Just go straight in for the lunge. I was, n I was just thinking, oh, he's just going to sit there and shake his change for a bit, so I've got some time. And instead of capitalizing on him just standing there and being like this... I stand there going, uh, put up, let's hit his feet for no damage. Oh, video garm. Because I'm intelligent. Watch me get hit by the shit and me be like, really? Oh. It has a wider hitbox than it thing and sometimes I get pushed into it by the geometry because like my sword pushes me into the range when I'm swinging it. I remember that vividly. Hey doggy. Get the headbutt. 
big problem I've always had with Devil May Cry's uh, like style of like movement is the same problem I have with a lot of games actually is I know how to get in and I know how to dodge around but I don't know how to back off very easily like I always fuck up backing off and when attacks are like here comes the big wide hitbox you should back away from me now I'm like how do in every single fucking game I'm really bad at this in like fighting games where it's like ah oh, like learn how to backdash and it's like these games I don't even know if you can backdash particularly easily so like I'm tricking forwards but tricking backwards for me is much harder so I like tricking sideways is what I do a lot so if you see me taking hits because of that it's because I'm stupid <laughs> I keep fucking up backdashing in almost everything I do Okay. Oh, you're gonna do the fast swipe. Oh no, you're just gonna do one fast swipe. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna, uh, lunge. Survive. For now. Alright. Headbutt. Very short forward range. Good. Okay, you're doing the fast swipe and then the big swipe. Big swipe, there we go. I'm learning your moveset. Ah, oh, you got the headbutt, yeah. Very impressive, we're all very impressed. Nearly got hit by that, but like, that's my fault. This isn't a hard boss, I'm just learning the game. <laughs> no! Oh, you dick. He's doing his fast swipe, his big slow swipe. Don't really like the camera angle there. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Oh, you're gonna do the lunge? Yeah. Yeah, I'm reading it. He's only got about five or six moves. Oh, so close. I'm gonna get fucking wrecked. I can feel it. He's doing it. Oh! <laughs> so close. Okay, okay. What next? Oh, you're doing the, your... Whatever we call that. Ice cannon. Oh, oh he's gonna lunge. He's gonna... Oh! I saw through him. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll try again. <laughs> Oh no, so you can you can see the time. You can all see the time of this playthrough. You know perfectly well that I'm probably not gonna do it next time because like that door behind him is the end of the chapter, so oh. what I mean the kind of geometry and the sword kinda of pushed me forwards when I did my move then. And it made me fall into the big dumb attack. And there, I didn't even see it happen. Like, his action was after my hit. So this is just... You could fucking forget it for this one. I've already lost two-thirds of my health. I'm just taking stupid hits in this one. This, this is just like a bin. I'm not even trying at this point. I'm just like, fuck it. This, this whole... Forget this. Forget this one. It's, it's fucking done. Like, I just took, like, his most damaging basic attacks twice, because I'm a fucking moron, so... Uh, and I keep accidentally targeting his feats. His feats is... Oh, uh, yeah, gonna just stand in the ice patch like a moron. Oh, he's doing it again. I nearly got hit by it for a third time. Where are you going? Randomly turn to the right when I was attacking you on the left there. Ow. Oh, oh, stabbed. Ugh. Oh, get out of the way. Well, that didn't really help me that much, but it's okay. Fast swipe. Slow swipe. Slow swipe. Then he got bit. I've never seen that move before. <laughs> He just bites sometimes. 
Wow. Oh. Oh, spicy. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. He's iced up again. Oh. Taken down with a raw normal. It's fine. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. I did it. So... It's not even upsetting me, like, you know, it's just like, it's just making me go, okay, I just need to like, this is all data, this is how they want me to play the game, they're teaching me stuff here, they're saying, hey man, actually learn the combat, actually learn evasive moves, don't fuck around, don't think this game's just gonna hand it to you for free, there's no infinite gold orbs here. Yeah, actually do it, actually get good. That's yeah, fine. Okay. Okay, I'm hitting him, but it feels like I keep just, like swinging past his head because he keeps jiggling around like that. How do I get you to fall down? You've got to charge, haven't you? I've got to try and beat you into charging so that those chains pull you down before you break the chains. I've done a decent amount there. Oh, he's doing the... That was a wide one. He hasn't turned red yet. Oh, no, he's turned red. Okay, your weird cannon didn't work this time, sir. I'm learning. Ah. Oh, yeah! Like in the cutscene. I'm real, Dante. Fuck you. Oh, what are you doing now? Oh, okay, I thought he was going to go for the lunch, but okay. Got to use that shotgun to blast it off. Now he does the lunge. Shittiest time for him to do the lunge when he's covered in ice, because then that's like wasted frames of recovery there. Fucking annoying. Okay. That was just bad luck. Ooh. Whoa. Alright. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, I should have jumped, then dash. Not dash, then jump. Ah. Ah, oh, it didn't hit me. Good. Ah. Never dash backwards from that. Dash sideways. He charges in a straight line. <laughs> Done again. Oh. Why am I telling my past self not to be stupid? <laughs> yeah, I, I actually like this boss fight, but sometimes you're like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> like, give me a break. <laughs> I get through this bit. The irony is when I do beat him. Ow. Oh, shit, he's doing the thing. Oh. is that I just completely melt his health bar once I realize what it wants me to do. It's a lot of these bosses, it's like once you work out the easy way to kill them, they're just like a joke, but if you try and do it the long way, because you don't know. Oh! It's much harder to dodge right on that, because he displays out a lot more that way. Like, his lunge has a wider hitbox to the right, I think. Don't quote me on that. I'm finding it easier to dodge left. Yeah, 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 you're a dog. Fuck you. I'm just gonna punch you in your face. Oh, that's your leg. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just keep, you know, just high flow attacks. Don't think about what you're doing. That's obviously the best tactic. <laughs> DPS him out. <laughs> How is this working? What the fuck? I <laughs> uh, just keep hitting him with my sword. <laughs> I'll get out of the way. No? Yes. <laughs> I thought he gave up. <laughs> Look at this fainting motherfucker. He's gonna do it again. Ah! 
fuck's sake. Come on, man. Give me a break. Oh. I'm having a breakdown. <laughs> oh. That was the worst one. Okay, don't go in head empty, sword full. <laughs> uh, I accidentally pressed the wrong button. I'm so angry. <laughs> it's fine. This is why I don't play Bloodborne, Sekiro, or uh, Dark Souls on my channel, because it would be 400 parts long and people just going, really? Father Gascoin, <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> Maybe we go, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> like a Coldplay fan. <laughs> it's too hard. More than one thing is happening. <laughs> yes, me and my friends. <laughs> me and my friends in college literally replaced the word idiot with Coldplay fan. And we'll literally just slap our own heads again. Uh, Chris Martin's the best artist ever! <laughs> Every time we did something stupid. <laughs> yeah, we were metal elitist assholes, so fuck you. Aha! Take this! Yeah! Now we're talking. Now we're talking like a Joe Satriani lawsuit. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Now you have no face. What will you do now, tiny, tiny one face dog? It's still quite large. <laughs> oh, don't kill me now, you little shit. <laughs> You've only got, like, five hits left. Fucking die with honor. <laughs> oh, no. Stop it. Just let me win. You fucking asshole. Bad dog. Yeah. Who knows? I'm not even sure myself. <laughs> Subhuman starts playing. Jeez, the chains are freaking out. <laughs> no one asked you. Okay. Your soul are some sick nunchucks. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I hope when I die my soul turns into a sick weapon. That'd be rad. Although I don't really believe in us having a soul, but you know. <laughs> and thus we finish our latest adventure with Wahoo Pizza Man. Whoa, we can change devil arms in real time? What is this new technology? I guess it was pretty big thing at the time. Wait, in 1 and 2, couldn't you change... In 1 and 2, you couldn't change devil arms in real time? Oh, well, we'll play those later. <laughs> Look at this bullshit. <laughs> Look at this Matrix shit. <laughs> this is where Nero got the whole idea from. <laughs> For fuck's sake. God, young Dante was just such a wahoo man, wasn't he? He just loved to scream woo at everything. Wow, she just wants to murder this guy. That's not how motorbikes work! What is it with J Japanese games and motorbike physics? 
Like Metal Gear Solid 3 and Eva's motorbike uppercut. <laughs> Let's see my score and then we'll change. Does. Sir. Duh. Sir. Even though I suck, I refuse to use items, even I'm not that low. <laughs> we'll do it on my own. <laughs> 